got a lot of people, well, a lot more people joining today. All right, so you've got views of the lagoon, literally just on there. And then again, you've got views of the ocean and of the beach. And then again, you've got views of the hillside and of the mountain as well on there. Um, it's quite a nice property here as well, because literally being on a cove or literally on a cove here as well on this bay, there's literally very limited access through to this part of, to the hotel. So really, um, which kind of contributes nicely to um, the privacy um, uh, for the clients. And again, not many people can come through from the mountains coming into the um, into the resort. So it's really, really quite a nice one. Um, it's got a beautiful stretch of 800 um, meters of beach, white powdery sand. I think Seychelles is actually known for your more um, white and powdery sands there as well. All right, and then just a beautiful picture there of the lobby. And I'm gonna take this opportunity as well, just to kind of, um, kind of remind everybody also in this day and age and where we are now and how hotels are um, kind of keeping to their safety um, protocol. So like with this particular property as well, I'll have a couple of pointers as we go along. But just in terms of the general spaces or the public spaces, I mean, there's um, sanitizing stations throughout like the lobby, the public restrooms, the gym, the spa um, and the bars as well. And obviously guests are encouraged to actually um, use those stations. Um, social distancing, people are encouraged to actually um, be two meters or so um, apart from each other, you know, for those that are like not together. So obviously those um, day beds would be a little bit more um, separate from each other. And then again, to, just in terms of the lift, they would encourage clients as well to like maybe maximum, have a maximum of two people um, um, that are on the lift at the same time. And then again, moving out onto the rooms, I like to actually just put those pictures as well out there to be able to show, you know, it is only just two floors, the ground floor and the first level. Um, you do, as I well, said, so have the, um, the rooms that are facing out onto the ocean, then you have rooms that are also facing out onto the mountain. Um, and then again, just in terms of um, the room and amenities, room and amenities and in terms of the safety protocols again your sanitizer so a client or your guests would get hand sanitizers as well as protective masks on arrival in every room um, for every guest and obviously like the magazines and the brochures have been removed from the um from the rooms they are available on request but obviously we are trying to keep obviously touching as minimal things as possible that we all touching at the same time um again let's quickly enter in there quickly and then again just the rooms are you know like extra cleaned or cleaned a little bit more with your disinfectants and and the cleaning material and that kind of stuff the beds are sanitized um, as well as the furniture and the fittings as well of the room so just keep it in mind for those that do want to do a laundry as well they are disinfected especially the linen um, with like the optimum detergents um, as well on it so again because of COVID and this particular um, time of our lives um, room service is open 24 7 in this particular resort um, and again just in terms of the procedures of room service you do have more your um, then you know like your hot um, your hot I don't know what they call these things again. You have the hot, uh, you know, the, the silver uh, clothing thing, like the hot boxes, like the clothing the hot, hot boxes. You have that all the time in terms of your room service, just again, um, to try to keep a social distance from clients. And again, um, nobody else besides the client will be able to touch the food except the chef as well. So just keep that in mind. And then again, starting off with the sea view um, garden room, starting off with the rooms. It's a sea view garden room. Um, it's about 42 to 46 square meters. It's got a terrace, a private terrace for everybody, as well as you would have like, your day beds here as well. It is showers only. Your view is of the beach as well as of, um, it's of the beach and obviously it's also access to the garden as well. So you'd have that as well. Um, so yeah, it's just really pretty, quite light deco here as well. Um, and I think just literally just trying to um, keep it quite light and modern and chic. And then again, we have your sea view room. We had your sea view garden room. That was the access to the beach. And then now you have your sea view room and your sea view room is more having a balcony, um, having a balcony for your clients. Obviously not access, not going, not no, no stairs to go down to the beach, but yeah, have a private balcony, also has a shower. Um, and also, you know, with these particular room categories, you have the interleading, um, rooms here um, interleading um, rooms here as well and then again in terms of your view you have more of your sea view instead of your um your access to the beach and then again in terms of the hill view rooms um the hill view rooms remember i said that you have access we have rooms that have access to the beach though or that have views of the beach you have rooms that have access that have views of the lagoon as well as the and um, the hill front uh, the hill views um more like a mountain views um, so yeah, that's literally just on that with the hill view. You've got more of a mountain view or, or a lagoon. So like, like access into that. Also quite light, also very pretty modern and also do have showers only. So that's actually the main um, the main three room categories where you know, a whole lot of our clients would actually be able to go through too. But for those clients that want something a little bit bigger, something a little bit more spacious and uh, with you know different living spaces and that kind of thing, we have your garden, um, your sea view garden suite. 
basically it's literally just like a little long um uh, not a little but like a long um, in terms of a, a space there you have your bedroom you have your bedroom your master bedroom with your room uh, with your bedroom with your bath and shower and then again you have like your dining room table area and then again you have your living space literally just your lounge area to actually be able to enjoy all three of these rooms literally have got their own terraces or you can actually from your um dining room table be able dining room um dining room be able to just to go out and hand lounge around as well there um on your terrace so keep that in mind it also has a beautiful um beach view as well as beach access here as well and then again, similarly, we do have the Hillview Suite as well. And with that, you have again a different, a separate living area there as well, lounge area. And then again, you have your dining room area. It has a separate shower and a separate bath, as well as your master, um, your master bedroom, obviously. And then again, the two, the last two um, suites that we've done now, the Hillview Suite as well as the Sea View Garden suite they take three adults and two children uh, well three adults and one child or your two adults and two children and then again compared to the first three um, categories that we have to take your two adults and one child or literally your three children so your three adults so um just keep it in mind it's quite a nice one i think as soon as you have your two your two children in there we're literally trying to see just how um, family friendly the hotels um that hotel actually is we have actually also just in terms of your pool and your private beach area, your pool is an Olympic length pool um, here as well. And then again, just in terms of your private beach area there as well. Again, no private beaches in Seychelles, but uh, um, you do have those hotels that are, I feel like Kapinski are pretty lucky to have kind of like a private beach um, that's kind of um, set there for them because of the cove uh, or the bay that they're actually in. Um, so that's just a little more of the private beach the area with access to the restaurants. And then just in terms of the, the dining um, dining offerings, we do have Cafe Lazar, Cafe Lazar literally. Um, the, the bay is called Bay Lazar as well, but again, we've got a um, Cafe Lazar. And then that's also just named on after a French um, captain, an explorer, he was a French explorer, and his, his name was like Captain Lazar Picot kind of a thing. Um, but then, so this cafe is named after him. It does themed dinners as well, um, in terms of your buffet restaurant. And then again, it does the breakfast, um, it does the, um, the buffet breakfast as well, just in terms of just trying to be, a, you know, a healthier options as well offered there for you. It's got a nice access there as well through to the pool. And then again, just some nice stations there as well. Remember, there are three restaurants as well on here. This is the first one. Then the second one we have is, is Lindoshin. Um, Lindoshin also um, quite uh, um, uh, fine dining in terms of restaurants, yes. Um, it does dinner only, international, Asian, and uh, halal as well, it offers that as well. And at the moment it is for reservation only, it only takes about 30 people. Um, it does have a wine cellar as well in there. There's a beautiful piano there as well. And something new that has been added on literally throughout COVID, well not throughout COVID, but something new that was added on before lockdown, oh, just in the lockdown, where they've now put in a new sushi bar and a new sashimi and sushi bar um so just keep that as well in mind it literally just does a whole lot more in terms of seafood um but there's literally all kinds of uh, menus to suit all tastes and that's the second restaurant and the third restaurant we have is windsong um windsong is the beach restaurant is the beach restaurant open for lunch and dinner um it's literally surrounded by the beach it does your whole um feet in the sands um kind of concept as well on there um it's also got the bar here as well and also because it's on the beach it caters for lunch for people that are lying out on the, on the sun lounges or literally um sunbathing um, most of the day or even just for you feel like trying to feel like a cocktail they can actually just go through to the windsong um, Winsong Beach Restaurant, which has a bar, and they can get some cocktails as well on it. Very laid back atmosphere, um, literally for your drinks and for your snacks. And I just, I just like yeah, the pictures that I actually also um, have on that. So um, that's the third restaurant that's been Winsong Beach Restaurant. Um, different kinds of things as well, just in terms of private dining um, that they do offer in terms of Kipinski, your private dining that we do, we can do a nice really setup in terms of venues, a nice setup here by the lagoon. I think that's a beautiful setup with the mountain um, in the background there. And then again, we can do your beach private dinners there as well. For those that do want to propose or you are having a honeymoon, we can assist some, um, assist you to create like a nice little um, romantic environment there for, um, for a couple. And then again, the wine cellar, just going to go back two seconds that's the wine cellar as well so again for those larger families that want to just have a private dining experience we can assist with like a private um dinner as well there at the wine wine um at the wine center these are obviously on request and are at a supplement um but again we can assist you in terms of getting it as well 
I've got a lady there as well in red. Um, the Kepinskis have literally had this um, concept since like about 2009, where you have a lady in red, and that's literally more your um, person that just kind of uh, reads, uh, is able to read the clients, is able to kind of see what the client's um, needs are, and sees to them um, that they are actually met. Um, they literally just, uh, their main thing is just kind of make sure that the client have a really great experience at the Kepinskis. So any Kepinski that you go throughout the world, you will get these lady in red and there's normally quite a few of them so it's normally um it's like um, um not so much a concierge service but somebody that does make sure that the client's um um needs are met and uh, you know at the standard of what kapinski is known to be we have the last bar there as well which was the planters bar um the planters bar and lounge is just quite quite nice one with great views there as well of the ocean it's open um literally from 12 till 10 30 at night and I wanted, again, just to be able to mention as well in terms of the restaurants and the bars, in terms of your um, safety protocols, yet again, I always have just to kind of come back, go back into that. Um, the safety protocols there, um, literally limited service. I have to mention as well, sorry, Winsong, which is this restaurant here. Winsong here is only, right at the moment, is the only restaurant that is open um, in terms of um, with, with uh, at the resort at the moment. Um, they are going to open up a little bit, the other ones as well in December. Um, but this one has been the only one that's open, again, uh, providing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And all the meals have been a la carte. Um, and then in terms of just the meal basis there as well, I'm just going to go in a little bit. In terms of just the menus, the menus are all very digital um, and using QR codes, that kind of thing. So at least you can actually order from your phone. You don't have to use actual menus. Um, they'll limit the amount of guests that are at the, at the table at the time. And I hope, you know, this is what we're hoping restaurants have been trying to do this. But OK, that's just not, yeah, not so much that. But yeah, so Winsong is the restaurant that's open at the moment. And then again, hand sanitizers are throughout the resorts. And again, and your clients are encouraged to use them. And then again, just in terms of the cleaning and disinfecting of your tables and your glassware, um, it's literally done um, as per every usage. I'm not sure I hope all hotels would, but um, yeah, again, not so much on there. And then again, we have a kids club. So this is a very family friendly hotel. I mean, very family friendly and it's all great for couples, but just in terms of kids, it's a great one. It's got their own pool. Um, it's for literally for three to 12 years old in terms of the kids' ages and they're not two years old. And then again, it's open from eight till um, seven o'clock at night. And then again, they do have babysitting available at a supplement. And then again, you do have your child-friendly dining options as well at the restaurant. So um, again, we are just trying to make sure that the kiddies are um, well taken care of when they're at the resort. And then again, I thought I'd just put these as well on there, just in terms of the request, because you are, you know, with your kids and stuff, you can actually ask for these to actually be um, put into your room for the kids. You're going around with uh, maybe an infant or anything like that. We can actually do like your, your toilet seat for those that are still learning to um, use a potty. And then again, your nappies, we can put in kids slippers, put um, kids um, bathrobes and towels, as well as blankets as well, you know, just in case um, your kids have forgotten their uh, blankets at home. And again, bottle sterilizers. So again, a lot of people think they always have to bring these as well with themselves, with them with them yes i think you can if you want to but again if you do happen to forget something as well we can assist that um to assist to get that one um one of those things as well through to you to make one your stay an enjoyable one and again also par um uh, couples paradise as well and i think seychelles just kind of predominantly known for like a honeymoon destination or that kind of thing not necessarily and as, as you saw quite a few hotels would have a kids club but then again in terms of here you can do quite a lot of um couply kind of um, excursions couply kind of you know massages in terms of um treatment rooms uh we can do things that are you know in terms of like your romantic your, your romantic dinners um your you know couples um yoga session there as well so yeah just keep it in mind and then again, just in terms of activities for this particular resort, um, you know, a great boathouse as well as right there by the beach, right there by the private beach. Um, the clients can go kayaking, they can literally go surfing, um, play tennis, play soccer, uh, as well as like some beach volley there as well. So just in terms of those. And then again, we've added as well onto it, not that we've added, but they do have a five-star paddy center. Uh, petty dive center um so yeah just in terms of like going out and going doing some diving excursions we can assist with that it is a surface paradise and i know not a lot of people would associate the indian ocean islands again with surfing but then because of this cove here and the reef it's got some really great waves which surfers can actually have a you know good time or if you're still kind of trying to um, amp up your game a little bit in terms of surfing you can actually do this as well at the resort um as you can see just literally right, quite a nice one there and then again just in terms of mountain bike um hide hiking or literally mountain climbing we can do because obviously we have a great um scenery and again great hills as well up here in terms of hiking i think hiking is quite a thing now for people these days it always has been just a lot more people on jumped i've jumped onto it and then again your yoga on a hill 
I love that kind of space. I love that kind of picture because I think it's something that I, I would definitely like to get into. Um, but yeah, just a nice one, yoga on a hill there as one of activities. So quite, I would think it'd be quite a nice one for like a nice morning um, yoga session. And then again, just in terms of groups, remember we do do groups and mice. Um, just in terms of groups, uh, Kipinski does accommodate quite well in terms of um, uh, bigger groups and that kind of thing. We can take 200 guests in one of the, um, the capacity at the Salon Quincy ball um, uh, Ballroom just right over there. Um, and then again, we can do like more your, your conferences and that kind of thing. And then again, your um, pre-dinner drinks or, that kind of, or your, breakout room, um, your breakout area there as well. So we can definitely assist 200 rooms, 200 guests um, can be taken as well into here. And uh, yeah. And then again, just in terms of weddings, again, we can assist with weddings and you'll, you'll, you'll for those that have been coming through the sessions, we'll know that we quite, we push weddings quite a lot as well here at World Leisure. Um, yeah, we have a different wedding packages. I just thought I should just put one. There are literally three, um, just to put one as well on the hibiscus wedding package where literally you have like literally extra relaxation for the, for the, um, for the, the, the guests or the groom and the bride. And then again, you have a wedding coordinator, complimentary dress pressing, that's important. And then again, your wedding ceremony on the beach um, with two witnesses. This is all included by the way. And then again, a decorated ring holder and a bridal bouquet as one of the things that are in your package. And then again, in terms of your honeymoon um, extras, again, you get to receive a bottle of sparkling wine, a honeymoon cake and a tropical um, food basket. Um, but yeah, just in terms of wedding venues, again, we can do something on the beach. We can do something again around the lagoon or in one of the ballrooms there as well that we saw um, earlier on. So, and then again, just in terms of the spa, and the um, fitness center, we do have that as well. The spa is not open at the moment, but again, it has about six treatment rooms here as well. Um, two of them being a couple's treatment, um, treatment rooms. And then again, you have the gym here as well. Um, and again, I think every spa, and I always say this all the time, every spa will always say that, you know, we include our Seychellois um, oil, you know, coconut oils, or anything that is literally has ingredients of that particular destination. In this particular case, your virgin coconut oil um, from Seychelles. I, I, I love coconut oil, and especially I like massages, so I can only really um, imagine as well on it. So this is just literally, yeah, just to um, just in terms of like the pool, the cleaning area, the pool area, and the surrounding furniture, as well as the gym, also just um cleaned up and uh, sanitized daily and after each use and in terms of the the gym there as well so that's just it and that is Kampiski everybody just I have to remind you again remind you the sun resorts Mauritius best rate guaranteed you find it cheaper anywhere else um you shouldn't but if you do find it cheaper anywhere else please let us know we will do a match we will match it and we'll do a room upgrade should what we are comparing be the same um and again remember please look out for our black friday specials because those are out for the sun resorts with amazing amazing benefits um and literally just in terms of the benefits like have, there's a room upgrade there's a meal um there's a meal upgrade as well as a thousand rand off in terms of in terms of the booking um so yeah just keep in mind for those they are all over the place you should be able to see them as well and then again the roe we locked the roe in terms of the sun resorts and the verandas because we've got rand contracts with those particular properties and uh, once your client makes a deposit um, that that we always normally ask about a 30% deposit under normal circumstances. 30% um, deposit and literally that rate does not change until the final payment date. So please, please let your client know that they can actually um, let you pay in different payments and then again, the rate won't change. And then we have the Carl's incentive. And again, so glad that Seychelles is actually part of our portfolio now because you even have a more chance to actually be able to earn those corals, um, to, yeah, to be able to earn those corals and use them again towards your own holiday. Um, so again, whatever packages that you book with Seychelles as well, again, if it is 100K and over, you are able to actually use a coral towards your own, um, property, um, your own holiday. Now, that holiday also includes if you want to do a holiday in Seychelles, you can actually do that now. Again, your corals will be contributed towards that as well. The corals, you, your client, um, it's for travel dates between, 20, um, between 1st of January now until the January 2021, until the 30th of June 2022. So you've got just 18 months, or just over 18 months to earn corals and for clients that are traveling within that period there as well. Um, so yeah, um, again, we have an online booking system. Please go out and check it out. We have not added Seychelles as yet, but it is in the process of actually being added onto online system. But for all the other um, properties and destinations, we can actually assist um, you with that as well. And then again, in terms of the commission, if you think discovery, think world leisure, yay. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, with discovery clients that still want to pay with their credit cards, they can actually book for the Sun Resorts, one and only San Geran, as well as Shangri-La, the two-struck, 
And then again, pay for their holiday, go on their holiday, come back from their holiday, then claim back from discovery, claim their cashback from discovery. And for those that literally know in terms of their cashback, it can be quite a nice amount, especially when you've got like a nice family that's gone through to, um, to Mauritius or something in December. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. You still get your 10% commission there as well. So it is, again, we're encouraging to actually be able to, we're encouraging you to encourage your clients to book through you to um, get their cashback and you still get your commission there as well. And then again, just a quick reminder, you saw the, um, the setup there that we had at Kapinski for our groups and mice. We can assist with that. I've got Isabella as well on, uh, on, uh, on with us right now. And she does, she's also part of our, our groups department and they literally do um, now groups packages. So keep it in mind, give us, a, um, give us a ring or an email when you do have that group coming through and let us do the logistics as well for you. Seychelles is on board now. Groups department completely does um, some groups to Seychelles there as well and help you in terms of comparing different destinations for um, what will best need best um, meet your client's needs. Again, weddings and honeymoons, we are trying to push those as well. Please keep it in mind. For those that are wanting to go um, on a honeymoon, we can, you know, and our risk team can assist you in terms of um, the best package for your clients at the time, um, according to their budget. And then again, your wellness and adventure packages. Um, these are also still kind of creeping in there slowly but surely and being quite popular. Um, people are more, as I said, more into your hiking. So literally Kampinski is one of the um, ideal places there as well. Your yoga's on the hill, um, your mountain climbing. So we can actually incorporate a lot more adventure sports in a package um, for Kapinski. And then again, you have your golf packages. Um, yeah, we have your golf package. I think literally in the Seychelles, the only golf course that is at a hotel will be at Lemuria, at Constance Lemuria. And I mean, again, we can assist you with some golf, um, some golf games there as well. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, and literally everybody, that is me. That is 28 minutes of that. And I don't know if there's been any questions, but um, yeah, um, thanking you for joining us. Uh, Marta, Hemina, are the corals available for all your packages? Oh, yeah, definitely, Marta. Um, all the packages they contribute towards um your your earning of your coral. So basically, if you um you make a hundred thousand rand in terms of a booking, uh, I come through to you and I give you one uh, one coral which is worth a thousand rand, and you have to accumulate to ten corals, and only then do you redeem those corals. You've got eighteen months to earn those corals and um, literally use them towards your um holiday. You don't have to stop at ten. You can definitely um go further up and uh, do fifteen and more. And that kind of thing. I've got a message here as well. Can foreigners get married in Seychelles? Um, they can. Obviously, we still encourage that the clients actually, um, you know, I feel you sign here. It just has less um, things that you have to do. So you'd obviously have to now go into Victoria to actually get to the signing happening, um, happen, get the signing of the um, of the marriage um, as well on there. And I think they're just a little bit more. So for now, um, I would definitely encourage the clients to actually sign here and do their ceremony at a hotel. It's just easier, a lot, lot more or less strings. Um, and then I've got uh, Chris asking, where, do, um, where is the golf course? The golf course is not at Kapinski. It is at a, at a resort called um, um, Constance Lemuria, and it's on Praline. So um, just, again, keep that in mind. It's the only golf course on the island there as well. Well, yeah, on the island there as well. Um, yeah, uh, waiting quote from L.H. Kapinski was there two years back. Oh, Corey, maybe you should have also show, um, helped to... Um, uh, say some things about Kapinski. I'm like, did you enjoy? Did you, you know, was it, if you don't mind, I mean, if you enjoyed it, let us know. I think it's quite, it's quite nice to have personal experiences um, that are shared as well through with us. So, um, yeah, I think that's, that's that everybody. Who's this? Chris, uh, there was no connection flights to Pralin. Okay, let me open this again. Uh, I was up to uh, the cool uh, short one. Chris, um, uh, there are no connecting flights to Parlin at present. It entails an overnight in Mahe. Is this permitted um, with COVID? With COVID at the moment, uh, Chris, you're only allowed to, for on a seven night stay, you're only allowed to stay in two properties. So if you're not connecting and maybe staying at Eden Bay or something, um, or Eden Blue, uh, maybe staying there over for the night in order to connect to Parlin then definitely has to be at the two properties. So, um, and then there are also um, days where, um, because they're coming in three times a week, they should work Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. And I think the Friday flight arrives early in the morning. So you're actually able to connect. So it's encouraged then if you're trying to get your client over to, to Pralin uh, without having to stay overnight there and back, um, then definitely connect, um, get them on the Friday night that gets to the, to the resort on, uh, that gets to um, Seychelles on Saturday morning. So you can connect nicely on any part of the day towards um towards Pralin. 
Cool. Corey says it was absolutely wonderful. Loved it. Too short. And then the food was awesome. Okay, sweet. Thank you for that, Corey. And thank you so much, everybody. I think everybody must have a great day if you don't have any more questions or comments or anything like that. Thanks, Amina. That was really nice. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Cool. Thank you, Amina. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks, Isa. Thank you, Marta. Thank you so much. Sweet. Share and...